Volvo V90 T8 Twin Engine 2017 Review. The V90 T8 is a highly capable and efficient big estate, but it is not as versatile or as smooth riding as a Volvo should be. What is it? If you're looking for a large luxury estate equipped with a plug, your options are limited. Mercedes has yet to apply the 350e powertrain to the E-Class estate, it's unlikely that BMW will offer a touring version of its excellent 530e and the arrival of an Audi A6 Savan e-tron remains a distant, murky prospect. That leaves the speeds. Volvo, specifically, with the T8-badged version of its handsome V90 estate, which and solely oil-burning guys were rather fond of. This flagship wagon uses a similar mechanical setup to the T8 XC90 SUV, which is to say a force-fed four-cylinder petrol engine, the mark no longer indulges in a greater cylinder count for any model, that drives the front axle while an electric motor does so for the rear. Bridging the two power sources is a 10.4 kWh battery pack, larger, surprisingly, than the 9.2 kWh unit in the XC90, that can be brimmed in as little as two and a half hours. Volvo has usefully positioned the unit as though it were the car's spine, meaning boot space isn't sacrificed in order to give the car its hybrid status, as is typically the case. Claimed electric range is 28 miles, just about par the FEV course in 2017 and enough for a reasonably short commute. Charge up at work and the V90 T8 could be the cheapest 400 bhp estate car you've ever run. The numbers reflect that power output, 0 to 62 miles per hour is summarily dispatched in just 4.8 seconds, while top speed is 155 miles per hour, more or less an exact match for the V8 engine V7 Audi or S4, which not so long ago seemed outrageously quick for an estate. What that car couldn't claim of course, was CO2 emissions of just 46 grams slash km. That means you'll pay no tax for the first year of V90 T8 ownership, while combined fuel economy is 141.2 miles per gallon. What's it like? This is a dextrose powertrain, capable of persisting solely with electric power all the way up to 78 miles per hour or, by simultaneously engaging the twin-charged engine, locking itself into four-wheel drive mode to improve low-speed traction on treacherous surfaces. Replenishing the battery on the move is a matter of selecting the battery charge function within the slick central touchscreen, at which point the T8 morphs into a 312 bhp front driver. The wheel spin this can initiate is most unbecoming of a svelte Volvo estate, it must be said. Engaging kickdown, however, unleashes a four-wheel driven, pedal electric total of 401 bhp and a startling turn of pace that's not always easily managed, given the car's two-ton plus heft, with notable body roll owing to the laid-back suspension tune and disconcertingly spongy pedal feel from the regenerative brakes, highly effective than maybe once caliper finally meets disc. Provoke this behemoth with care. Should I buy one? Those for whom the car's modest electric range can bear the brunt of their daily mileage will own something of tremendous versatility. Anyone else who wants a sprightly V90 might be better off settling for the smoother riding D5AWD and save themselves £14,000 in the process.